Hi everyone, it's Caroline. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching this, I am doing some rusty uh, painting. While we were on vacation, I wanted to make some rust stain, rust water, and I did not have any. I had a couple of rusted bits from the garage. It's hard to see here, and I'll turn this over and I added to my rusty bits and I had a few extra metal pieces that were not rusted, but we uh, I added half water, half vinegar to this and it has completely <laughs> morphed into, I have this like rusted scoby if you want to call it that. It's really weird and um, it's kind of stinky, metal smelling, but it's just water and vinegar and rust and I'm not going to touch it. And I wanted to paint some papers here. I have, I was dipping some of my uh, scraps from the kitchen that we have. We have a scrap or a, um, yeah, a scrappy drawer that we keep our, you know, discarded flyers and different papers that come in. So I'm going to paint this on and see what happens. I want to make just a couple of little items for my journal and I wanted to test out my my water rusted water my rusted scoby <laughs> if anybody out there makes or drinks kombucha we know about scobies I don't want to touch this so I'm going to use actually I'll use my uh, my old butter or butter spreader knife. This was from an old set that we don't use anymore. So, how's everybody doing? Everyone is great, doing well. It's a very blue, well, it's not even blue, it's just gray today. And I'm wearing a gray sweater again. I guess it's the cozy mode, and that's just what I have. <laughs> oh, I'm going to try and speed up the drying process I'm going to use my old blow dryer and uh, I will keep it on the low speed I'm not going to put you through the the noise maybe I'll do it on fast forward Here is the dried, rusty paper, and I love it. It is beautiful. It does not even translate here, I don't think, on camera. but And that's always the way we have to... Uh, oh, it's just beautiful. I, it's yummy. It's got some depth and some different texture. It's really cool. Nothing's coming off on my hands. I mean, it smells... It smells kind of vinegary and rusty, but it's not a problem. It's crunchy. There's the other side that I flipped. Really love it. This is the envelope. It's still a bit damp on the other it's side. Also equally as yummy. <laughs> now I can do that. Cool. Okay, we'll put that aside. I'll show you what I want to do, see if it works out. This is the newspaper. The newspaper is already old. It's from 1967. And, but this is what it did. I just used this to absorb it. And I might have a bump in there because it's been folded for so long, but look at how it just gave this paper even more grunge and texture. And oh, I just love it. Okay, I'm gonna put this over to the side. Oh, and I did some other painting on there. So this is my, I'm gonna move my rusty jar, rot water. And what I want to do, and I was inspired by an Instagram account, just kind of flashed by me, and I guess that's how it works. It's by um, Happy Art Journal. And I love hearts. <laughs> and so when I saw this, I thought I really want to try it. And, and this is just a piece of lined paper. 
that has, it's for binders or duotangs. I don't even know if duotangs still exist. And I thought, well, instead of doing it on white, I wanted to try my rusty water um, since we came home. So this, the rusty water, I want to back up because I'm not sure if I actually said that I made it before we went on our vacation. So it just sat for 10 days, however long we were gone. And the result, this is the result. And I think it's absolutely amazing. And um, can I just show you some other little experiments that I was doing? This is what I While the water was rusting, I was dipping in some scrap paper. And uh, I don't know why this is black. I don't know what made it get black. But this is my little dips, my little testy dips. Um, test strips, I think we'll call them. And then this was junk mail that I also was dipping. So it gave me that. I just want to share what along the way. And again, I don't know why there's different colors here. Maybe it got in touch with something else, or maybe it's the ink from the, uh, from the junk mail. So there it is. So fun. I love it. I'm going to use these in something. And then this was an envelope use that i'm going to use this envelope in something too but i just wanted to share with you the test along the way and now this is what the oh i love it i can't tell you enough about it you have to try it just 50 percent half and half half water half vinegar and rusty rusty things or start rusting your own <laughs> okay i'm going to make a heart i'm not even going well i might draw it I suppose I could draw it because I probably won't make it. Um, let's see. Let's just do a heart like that. A big heart. <laughs> I'm probably not going to follow that. Because I don't think it's going to... Just to give me a... a A little bit of an outline there's the heart fun we could go this way we could go this way I think what I'll do is this way so what the what the artist did was if I can remember so you fold in your edge and it maybe this this is probably sharing something that you've already that you already know I had not seen this yet. And so this is, I'm experimenting with you as we go, as we do this together. And then you flip this up. Is that right? Oh, it's like this. It's on the bottom. So this heart envelope will probably be a long skinny one and then you fold it like this maybe a little bit higher I just thought it would be so fun to put in your journals but I obviously made it really big I love hearts and envelopes, so this is going to be, this is fun. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't do it very even. And then she tucked this in here, like that. Well, I'm going to try my heart envelope again, because I think I probably made it too it's kind of big and it's probably not the right heart shape, but let's try it again. I, I'm, I want to do this. I think you have to go wider like this. And then over. Like that. I think that's better. Yes, that's better. It's not so long and skinny. I think maybe I have to go even a little bit more. Get 
Okay, that looks better. That looks better. Flip it up. Yes, I think I'm getting it. We just have to keep trying. Oh, that's better. And then this folds over. into like that. And there's an envelope made out of a heart. I'm going to use this in my journal. And then we can decorate it or do whatever you like. I love it. You don't even need glue. And what I'm doing now is I re recently received in some happy mail uh, from the Facebook group that Junk Journal Divas that I'm in, I received some die cuts and I'm taking the, the wow, you can see the rust settling in on my brush, but I'm just taking the residual the leftover rusty water from my bristles here, and I'm just painting this. I might even dip in here a little bit more. Just keeping that lid on. And I think what I'll do is I'll grab my envelope. That one's done on that side. So what I'll do is we can do so many things with this envelope. We can open it up and collage, decorate, stamp, paint, write, journal, whatever you'd like. And um, or you can leave it closed. And if you wanted to, you could leave it closed glue the sides down and just keep it as a uh, little tuck spot. I think I would leave it open though and just use the, use this opening as a little holder for your if you're giving this away this is a little a quick little newspaper envelope that I had made you can just keep your little ephemera. This is already dry because it's a dry brush that I was using. And then you could just, you know, send that or keep that in your journal and then use these little, little tags for extra, extra journaling, extra decorating. I also have some photos that I have not put into my journal yet, but I could also keep these photos in here. They are very thin because they're just on the lined paper. I could do that too. And then I can pull out the photos and look at them. There's a little package. Well, that's my little craft for today and I'm very happy that it turned out. Thanks for coming along with me today. And I will link the um, where I learned this. <laughs> where this was shared on my description below. And uh, oh my gosh, try the rusty water. It is incredible. I am in love with it. It's just a different, completely different color. And as this oxidizes, I can see that it's, I can see that it's turning a little bit darker in areas, but oh, this is fun, 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 fun. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a scrap piece of paper, which is a scrap from the Blue Butterflies kit from Creating with Jovi. And I am collaging with my, my scraps of rusted paper. Just to get the white 
the white off. All an experiment. Folding over my paper. I'm not even waiting till it's dry. And I still have scraps left over, but I'm not doing anything. Well, I don't know. I say I'm not. I can't help myself. <laughs> and there is... I added a little bit of ink right there. I love that. Let's do it like this. This has some lift. That's okay, I don't mind. I think what I did here is I have to go to keep it out. I have to keep it straight. I should use my board. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Because when you lift it up, you can see there. That's better. So having fun with rusty water and my fun new discovery of the heart envelope, I went ahead and made a few more. I had made this one originally and, and then I also used the rust water to do the little tags that I received in Happy Mail. So that would be cute like that. And then I did a, another heart um, envelope with just a book page of mine. There's the heart. Fold, fold, fold up. And then this goes in here. So there we go, like that. And then what I did was I took my heart punch and I punched out from the same page the leftover pieces and then I backed it up with some scraps. This is a, these are scraps of this one that I'll share with you. And then I back them with some of my rusty paper. And I just put those in here like this. Just to, just to show how, how you can use that. Then this one here is leftover um, digital kit. So that can be a little pocket we can put card or something in there. And then this is a bigger one that I used my jelly printing that I had done. And this one here, I backed it with, I can sh show you that one. 
I just did a collage on this heart. This is a bigger one with rusty papers and fold, fold this way. And then in here, and I also edged, did a little bit of inking on the edges. And that's what I did after I thought, when I thought I was finished, I just wanted to continue playing. And there's the rusty, um, the rusty water on the embossed page, which I think turned out lovely again. Okay. And this is just a little sample, a quick experiment idea and how you can use a cutout heart with, you know, it doesn't have to be with this. It can be with anything. And I really wanted to try my rusty water and see how it worked. Have fun experimenting. Stay adventurous and stay cozy. I will talk to you very soon. Bye for now.